Believe it or not, there's a bit of a controversy swirling around the names of hurricanes. And a woman named Joy Gridnick has the stormy details. Hey, every time another hurricane hits, we wonder how hurricanes get their names. And now Maxine Waters is in the news saying there are no African-American hurricane names. But if you recall, all hurricanes used to have just women's names. So somebody must have brought that up, and then they must have asked women if it bothered them. And of course, the women said, no. But then when they didn't change it anyway, they burst into tears and ran from the room. So by 1979, hurricanes were named after men, too. Now, the Hurricane Prediction Center has a list of 21 names on six different lists already made. Hurricane Debbie is on the list. I don't think I could take a Hurricane Debbie very seriously. Or any name, Mindy, Tommy, Cindy, any name that ends in a Y that could be changed to an I with a heart about it. We need more strong and threatening sounding names to get people to drop everything and run when it's time to evacuate, like Thor or Slugger. Some names on the list were good, like Olga, Makes you think of a big, beefy woman, or Ike, nasty wife beater, or Igor, the hunchback. The truth is, everybody wants their name on the list. Everybody wants a hurricane named after them. And that's where the hurricane people aren't thinking. They should be selling the naming rights. That's the trend. If you want your name, or your brand, or your company's name on a hurricane, you could pay for it. We could pay off the national debt. The only chance you'll take is getting stuck with a big, devastating one that destroys huge cities. I mean, I'm talking about the hurricanes, not the national debt. <laughs> I'm Joy Gridnick. Oh, that was, that was really good. good. Hey, just think of me.